Hi there, welcome back. Um, I would like to teach um, teach you today a piece of music called Minuet by J.S. Bach. Um, I'm going to work from a, a version out of um, Guitar for Everyone um, tutorial book and it's on page 49 if you've got that book in front of you. Um, so what I'll do first of all is I'll just play the tune nice and slowly and in most simple form so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm sure you actually know what it sounds like but um, if you can already play it, you can play it along, and if you don't know how to play or you're having difficulty, I'm going to run through a few little parts of the song <clears throat> after I've played this so that you can um, sort of work through um, any tricky bits. So here it goes. It's three beats in a bar. So it's one, two, three. can play it but you can't play at that speed, um, repeat the video and just slow it down or you can speed it up if you feel it's a bit too slow for you so um, do that, um, don't don't sort of go at my tempo if it's, it's too hard or too easy. Okay so the first thing that you'll notice about this piece of music, um, it's in the key of G so it uses a G scale. The G scale, we'll just play through the scale so you can get your fingers around it a little bit. So the G scale will play third string open G. Okay the next note is A. And then B open, then C, then D, then E, F sharp, and the second fret, second finger, and third finger, G. And play that backwards, G, second finger, F sharp, then E open. Go to D, then C, then B, then A. Second finger, second fret on the third string, and then G. Okay, so it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. I suggest you work on that scale and get really fluent at it because if you can do that, it makes a piece of music easy because this piece of music uses lots of scale runs through it. Okay, there's one little extension from that where the um, it goes to, we have an F sharp in the key of G major, so F sharp. Um, in this piece of music, we go down to an F on the fourth string and the F is normally third fret, but an F sharp, um, third fret. So the F sharp is on the fourth fret on the fourth string. So the very, when you hear the piece of music right at the end, it goes A, B, A, G, F sharp. using a pinky on the fourth string, fourth, um, fourth fret, um, and fourth finger. Okay, so the first part of the tune goes, starts on D, and it plays a little scale, G, A, B, C, D, so you've got G, A, B, C, D, so that's where the scale comes in, because if you play the scale, you can play the piece. So let's try the first bar, and then you can play it back. So it's going to be D, G, A, B, C, again. Here we go. One, two, and three, and D, G, A, B, C. And then it goes, the next bar is D, G, G. So it's D. So we'll put those two together because it probably makes better sense um, to our ears. So it goes D, G, A, B, C. one is kind of a similar pattern, it's not the same, but it's got a similar pattern with sounds an E, and we play a scale up, so it's C, D, E, F sharp, G, so 
put you first on C, then D, then E, then F sharp, and then to G. So again, it's C, D, E, F sharp, G, and then G open. So if you start from um, the third bar on the first line, it's E, C, D, E, F sharp, G, then G, G. Now the next, um, at the end of the first line, going into the second line um, of this um, this piece, it starts on C, and you have the scales going down, so it's D, C, B, A. So playing that scale, like I said at the beginning, will make it so much easier to play this piece. So it's C, D, C, B, A. Let's try that. C, D, C, B, A. Okay. Now, the second line, the beginning of the second line, is the same pattern, but starts a little bit lower. It starts on B. B, C, B, A, G. Try that one. B, then C, B, then A, G. Again, B, C, B, A, G. And this is where it gets slightly um, funny. This F sharp, I actually said before, it's at the end. It's also another F sharp on the fourth string in the middle here. So the second bar of the second line starts on F sharp. So it's F sharp, fourth finger. F sharp, and then G, A, B, G. So it's, I'll do that again. It's F sharp. Then third string G. Then A. Then B. And then G. Again, F sharp. G, A, B, G, and finishes on A. So I will play line two from the beginning. B, C, B, A, G, F sharp, G, A, B, G, A. Do that again. One, two, and three. And B, C, B, A, G, F sharp, G, A, B, G, A. So if we put the very last bar of the first line together, it goes, it starts from C. So you look at the very last bar on the first line. So it's C, D, C, B, A. Now second line. C, B, A, G, then F sharp. I'll play that again. End of the second line, uh, end of the first line, it starts on C. C, D, C, B, A, B, now from C. C, B, A, G, F sharp, then G. So we're right in the middle of the piece there, um, in the third bar of the second line. Now, when you get to the fourth bar of the second line, you'll find that the melody from the beginning comes back. The very first bar is repeated um, at the end of the, end of the second line. Um, and it repeats, um, pretty much the tune is repeated, and it just changes, um, it changes just towards the end of the piece. So um, let's go from bar four of line two. Um, which is um, D, and then G, A, B, C, D. Here we go. Ready, and D, G, A, B, C, D, G, G. Last line, E, C, D, E, F sharp to G, and then third string G. Starting on C now, and then D, C, B. C, B, A, G. Then A. This is the last bit that's different. B, A, G, F sharp, G. So the second last bar starts on A. A, B, 
A, G, F sharp, G. One more time. A, B, A, G, F sharp, G. Right, there we go. Um, work through that and repeat parts, like I said, and slow the thing right down. Uh, I might drive you a bit bonkers going and over and over playing along with me, but um, I'm sure that if you just um, work in little chunks, you will get it. Um, good luck with that. See you next time. Bye.